please like, share, and subscribe. And ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified. When new videos drop, so it turns out you can't please all the people all the time. Uh, uh, but you can make everybody hate you all the time. I think Anheuser-Busch is experiencing that right now with the uh, uh, Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney debacle. Man, they're getting it from every side. Ooh, uh, uh, much like Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> Like, oh, what can I tell you? Uh, lucky lad. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, because they, uh, they, they, they want, they did a Dylan Mulvaney ad uh, sponsorship, and then that that brought all the insanity of the modern age to the people who just wanted to be left alone. People who just wanted their Bud Light and be left alone, right? And they're like, "What? Leave us alone!" Anyway, so they had a complete meltdown with that. They've had a boycott and they've lost. I don't know, billions, like billions upon billions, right? Uh, and they might all get that market share back. So they made, what was it, on Friday, a, a, a non-apology apology. So we didn't mean to piss anybody off, uh, um, essentially. Uh, and now all the, the other side, the, the uh, cultural world hates them too. So everybody hates Anheuser-Busch. Uh, uh, kind of feel the same way about Rusty Davis right now. We've had a rough time. In fandom, over the last few years, we've had the most turgid, awful Doctor Who possibly ever made. I mean, like, honestly, I'm one of the most turgid, awful eras of television. It was, it, every episode is irredeemably awful. And I am more than happy to go through it, uh, go through it point by point with you. But, uh, uh but if you liked it, good, good for you, mate. I mean, really, genuinely, I'm, I'm, I, I have no problem with you liking it whatsoever. Uh, 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 but we had a rough time, and now, you know, we had uh, uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. Rusty Davis' new era, generally speaking, was freaking, yeah, exciting beyond exciting. I, we, we, I was like, Cavelling, that's a Jewish word. I was vibrating with excitement. I was cavelling, right? I was very, very excited. Then we had Doomsday come out, which looked awful. And uh, I'm sorry, Russell, how on earth you let that go is beyond me. The rumor I heard is that uh, uh, he didn't know about it. He didn't watch the trailer. I think if he did. I mean, it, look, Doomsday is such a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Such an incredible example of the failures of uh, uh, the way we make entertainment, which is going to change this time next year, even less. Uh, uh, we can make our own Doctor Who via AI, and <laughs> it's going to be so much better. But the way the way we make uh, 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 television, you have a monoculture, and they all like the, the person fronting... Was it Suze, the person fronting it? She's not very funny and she's not very good. What she does, though, is uh, spit venom at people on the other side of the cultural aisle because uh, of her, you know, I would say left and right wing, but they're not really left and right wing. Uh, uh, and so, you know, the, the love is in the monoculture that make, make it demigod. Oh, she's such a lovey. She makes me feel so good. Oh, everyone's going to love it. And they put it out and it was a disaster, right? A complete and total disaster, much like Dylan Mulvaney with Bud Light. It was a disaster. But there was a one, two, one. So that much, I like, you know, uh, uh, put aside. I'm like, ah, maybe he doesn't know about it. And I, that was a rumor, and I hope it's true, right? I hope it was just a screw up. But then we get the announcement of Jinx Monsoon, which I don't know. Like, we need to know the character, right? If this is a drag character, slap bang in the middle of Doctor Who, that's a problem, right? Why is that a problem? Because nobody had trouble with drag before. Now drag is being used to hypersexualize children. I think it's uh, uh, being used as for child sexual exploitation, right? And I think child ex sexual exploitation does lead to life-changing surgery in many cases where these kids will never have children, but mostly, well, they, they will never come. I mean, really? That sounds awful. I mean, just shoot me now I, I, if you're going to take that away from me. Oh, so, you know... It's a bit of a problem, Russell, in 2023. I'm sorry in your little bubble. You know, and that bubble is full of people who have no children whatsoever. I'm sorry in your little bubble that uh, uh, you didn't realize it'll go down well. But the truth is, if it's a mocap uh, 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 character, if it's a, a, an alien, if it's an appropriate character, this could be a breakout thing for the uh, Jinx Monsoon to do something different. The, I, I, I hate prejudging things without knowing it. It really genuinely pisses me off to do that. I don't I don't want to be that person, right? I, I, but it's like been a rough couple of weeks, right? Uh, and it was like, oh, it's going to be awful. Oh, my comments have been rough, right? Oh, God. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so I thought... Well, at least the other side of the cultural aisle, you know, the shill idiot fan media, they'll be flag waving for him, probably a you know, rainbow colored flags. Um, 
But no, they're attacking him too. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This actually makes me feel good that they're attacking him as well. They're like, how dare they make Doctor Who popular and, and beloved? Uh, that sounds like these people are crazy, right? Absolutely freaking crazy. Anyway, anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment is what I'm trying to say, baby. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Head over to Rumble. Subscribe to me there. Thank you for subscribing to me there. That makes my life so much better. Right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cra it's crazy, but it's really true. It makes my life so much better. I'm glad I'm looking at my subs at uh, YouTube go, go down and down and down. Because I haven't been doing YouTube shorts and one-minute videos. I, I, I might actually do some today. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, uh, head over to Rumble, please. Also today, I'm because I don't... I'm like, normally, I'm like, just book solid would work, right? Like, straight work. Uh, 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 so I don't have time to breathe. But today, I might have time... To get to where is it? My uh, deep fake Colin Baker reading millennial rights, which will you'll be available through my Substack in the video notes. Go subscribe to it now. Uh, I really hope to be working on that today. Okay, that's basically the plan. Fine. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are awesome. Thank you for doing it. You are awesome, baby. You are. And you know what? Truth is, we don't tell ourselves that you know, enough. I really. Okay. Just as complete aside. Every day, just think about a few things you're grateful for, even if it's your sight, even the ability to, you know, to take a shit unaided, which is, that's kind of a big thing, I have to tell you. that it Develop gratitude in, in your life and you will be a happier person, right? And that, that, that's, that, that, that would be my, my uh, recommendation. But the other thing to develop is, is get, look, think you're a good person. Most people are good people and most people are down on themselves all the time. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself you're awesome. Because you are, baby. You're freaking awesome. And I said, uh, if you want to prove how awesome you are, subscribe to me at Rumble. <laughs> anyway, like, share, subscribe, comment. Now let me hand over to me. Well, since live stream, do live streams every day on Rumble because they the algorithm likes that. Join us on live stream. This out the live stream was from last night. It was only from last night. So let me hand over to me from last night. Talk to this new era. Must stop reliving Russell Davis' former glories. Why? That's a good idea. The former glories were, let me let me just explain something to you, were glories, right? You want them to relive glories because glory is good. Yes, yeah, glory is, what's that? Good, right? So, yes, it is good to relive things that are good, right? Uh, gentlemen, what let has been revealed about the next day of Doctor Who, it feels similar to RTT's World War 2005 template. Is that a bad thing? God, dude, you are a dick. This is Mark Donaldson. Very uh, hit and miss, Mark Donaldson. Man, he, th this guy, this guy uh, uh, is what Star Trek Picard was written for, where every under 25 gets taken over by an authoritarian mind virus, right? And they are being used to destroy the world. That is 100% what uh, 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 is going on, right? I... Very brave, right? A very brave. They, like, they, I think they couldn't introduce that uh, more than one episode in uh, before the end because they'll probably get pulled. Anyway, anyway, let's go. Uh, were, 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 were there many drag queens in the uh, uh, original Doctor Who? Uh, uh, you know, the 2005. I don't recall. Don't think so, mate. Don't think so. Uh, Ross D. Davis, second of Doctor Who, seems to be repeating many of the uh, his, uh, original era successes. Oh no, not successes. That sounds terrible. Uh, which could be a problem for the show. Oh, Ross D. Davis, I'm sort of like, <laughs> oh, 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 no. Uh, well, Doctor Who is embracing the new era of streaming and has cast an exciting young actor. You didn't say black, even though you know that's the only thing you're thinking about. Uh, as a doctor, there are signs it could still be stuck in the past. No, somebody might not be sucking a dick at, uh, five, uh, at any moment in the show, right? Wearing a rainbow-colored top, right? That might not be happening, because it's always got to be in your face all the time. Otherwise, it's just the worst thing ever. It's genocide. Right, it's genocide. It, it, if some sexuality isn't literally constantly in your face, you are you are taking part in genocide. Right, that that that's the um, that's what they believe. Right, I mean that's really what they believe. Like, I you've got to constantly know everybody could be of any sexuality ever, even though ninety eight percent of people are straight. 
<clears throat> but anybody could be anything. Dude, no one had a problem. What is it? What, like, what are you sniffing? Oh, this could be a problem with the show. Well, Doctor Embracing the New Era streaming. Well, okay, of course. Uh, there are signs. We said, okay, when he revived Doctor Who, Dorothy Davis oversaw the show's most popular era for decades. Yes, it's true. Swiftly dismissing any criticism that the classic series wobbly sets uh, uh, and unconvincing monsters. Well, they did that very purposely, right? They, I mean, that, I mean, that's why the show rolled out the way it did. That's why uh, the end of the world was, was it? The second or third episode? Like, uh, Unquiet Dead was... Oh, I can't remember now. Yeah, I mean, let me, let me look at my DVDs, like my, my, my old handmade one. What came up? Was it Unquiet Dead or was it the end of the rose? End of the world, second episode, right? So End of the World was the second episode. The reason it was, you know, they wanted to make it a big effects, you know, uh, uh, effects and... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, costume, you know, heavy show to show it's like a real show to instantly hammer away the uh, any any idea of wobbly sets, which they actually never were, right? That's something Russell Davis was really good at when it when he was uh, um, pr he was fantastic as promoting the show, right? The initial run, like you, he did an incredible documentary the day it was there, like this, the, he will the he willed this to be. The hugest success ever, and and you know, it was mostly because of him, right? Mostly because of this like indomitable will and wanting it to be great. Yeah. So there's documentary, but in the documentary, he said, "Yeah, actually, the sets never have been wobbly. It's just it's just one of the things people said, but it's not true, right?" Um, uh, typically, what are you gonna have a Super Mario movie? I know. I'm trying not to get copyright struck for it. Anyway, uh, where am I up to? Um, <laughs> when we revived the show, Wobbly Sets, while the show became a global success under Stephen Moffat, <clears throat> Doctor Who was really as popular as it was in the UK in the mid to late 2000s. Well, because we were all just so amazed how huge it was, right? Oh, I can get rid of that. Thank you. I mean, look, that's... I, most people were like, oh, God, okay, it's because it was British and it was contemporary sci-fi. It was something that we hadn't seen, right? It was... Cutting edge contemporary sci fi, super British, right? It had big London buses going all the way through it, London landmarks, London, uh, London Eye, right? British landmarks, I should say, all the way through it, uh, uh, which is like central to Doctor Who's success. Because people like it being British. I mean, like, I love the, uh, uh, was it Murray Gold's music? Uh, was it London Bridge? As uh, Rose and the Doctor run over it, to, da, 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 like <laughs> past the London bus. Oh, it's wonderful, right? It, it, it is absolutely wonderful. It, it's uh, um, uh, a bit oh, here. One second, can, can we pull that clip? Because it's not long, right? That's like about a two second clip. I think I can get get away with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm in a bit, bit, bit of a uh, ninth doctor f uh, f phase tonight. Uh, oh, there we go. Doink. Doink. Uh, new episode, episode of Succession. I'm in loving Succession this season, right? I am freaking loving Succession this season. Uh, I, I get the, I, it feels like a bad wolf show, right? Um, here we are. Open, but then I've got to find the right moment. Where it is. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I just nailed that. Mate, look at this. That should be it. Oh, that music. Fantastic. Oh, I love that. I mean, again, he, he, I mean, he really like made that mark right there. I'm sorry. That is the perfect essence of Doctor Who, right? That I mean, it really is. The, the companion and Doctor holding hands and running into whatever it is. Uh, uh, wonderful. I mean, really, really. I mean, and in a totally contemporary show, right? So, um, you know, not, not so terrible. And the music. Yes, they are. I mean, that, 
that this is really the remit of of the uh, uh this is why it was so popular right it was saying everybody wanted to work and it did and it worked so much better than we thought it would and it, everything about it was so british but yet at the same time it was so incredibly uh, uh, uh contemporary right uh, um it's uh, uh, yeah, I, I, it's perfect. I have to tell you, <laughs> right, I mean, really nailing this. And but yeah, the, uh, that first season was a shakedown season. So yeah, listen, what 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 are you confession about, Scream Rat? Hey, what the matter to you? Hey, why are you looking so sad? Hey, it's a nice day. Ah, uh, <laughs> shut up, your face. <laughs> Uh, uh, I do that to my kids sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's because of that success that uh, he's returning for the 60th anniversary. Beyond it has been held uh, by critics of the recent Christian era as saving Doctor Who. Uh, uh, what were you mean, like, from complete annihilation? It was cancelled, you dumb fuck. Okay, yes, it was over. I know they had a plan to partner with a streaming giant and make a whole new Doctor Who, right? But who else would have done it? Nobody. Nobody wanted to touch it. They couldn't find anybody to take over. Uh, 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 and it, like, Chris Chibnall would turn it into radioactive slag, right? Radioactive slag uh, uh, should give you a bit of a discount for a handy. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> uh, um, yeah, listen, I'm sorry, mate. It just didn't work out, did it? Because... It was filled of all the idiotic identity politics that your whole life revolves around. Um, anyway, your mind virus that you have that you definitely try trying to defend. Uh, they were definitely something to be celebrated, but as a few industry insider in, industry figures uh, with his uh, profile, love uh, and understanding of Doctor Who and the TV me, uh, TV as a medium, the way he does. Uh, however, while Davis' screenwriting has considerably matured in the 14 years since he left Doctor Who, it's beginning to look like his vision of Doctor Who is unchanged in almost 20 years after his first started. Okay. No, Doctor Who hasn't changed, right? The essence of what it is, the core of what it is, what makes it work, that hasn't changed, right? You can change the window dressing and you're supposed to change the window dressing. Right. And it's supposed to be the most contemporary thing going. Right. It always was. Right. It always was. Oh, uh, if they met a third doctor and Joe, who would be good to play Joe? <laughs> I'd love to see it like all that 70s stuff. Uh, uh, maybe get Tim, Tim Trelaw to play the third doctor. I want to see him cosplay that. I bet, I bet he'll be good. He's got the nose. Right, um, which means that reminds me. What, what I have to listen to? But I, I've just caught up on the uh, first Doctor Who. Let me have a look. See what I've got to listen to. Still, I'm so behind on Big Finish. Right, so uh, I got the last bit. That oh, oh man, I got that book on table. Never, Devin got close to finishing. Um, I got the Time War Vol Five to finish. Oh, which I don't know which one I'm at, at to, but I'll I'll, uh, I'll work it out. Uh, and then I got the uh, Joe Jones and the Third Doctor, which I really want to listen to, and the Fourth Doctor box set. So man, I got I got to get get a listening, baby. Maybe I'll I'll, maybe I'll, 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 get, I'll finish off the uh, uh, Eighth Doctor set. That'll be my next job, right? Over the next couple of days. Fine. Where are we up to? Uh, do, do, do. This could be who the theory of pub. Where, where, where are we up to? Sorry, did I miss a bit? This could pose a serious problem for Doctor Who's future. Look, Mark Donaldson, may I ask you, where are you in life? Where's Ross D. Davis? Yeah, there's a reason for that. Anyway, Doctor Who copy Ross D. Davis is a wet flag. Oh no, oh no, wet flag. Baby cunt. Um, and, and look, I'm just saying, piss baby cunt, because that is his. Uh, uh, that's how he describe it in the books of uh, Kabbalah. Uh, uh, it's too early to know exactly what Shooty Gut was first series Doctor Doctor Who will look like. Really? What? Because nobody's seen it. It's too early to know, right? Yeah, you really. 
It's too early to know what the year 2443 is going to look like. Uh, but going, uh, but going on the evidence of the location filming of the upcoming sixth anniversary specials, it does seem to be covering old ground. New companion Ruby Thunder, Millie Gibson, is a hot white girl who who makes me feel tingly, tingly between my legs, and I feel shame. I feel shame for my heterosexuality, so I pretend uh, 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 I'm a trans woman turned on by a woman. Yeah, that makes me feel good. Ah. Uh, I'll stroke my, my female penis to like because I'm a lesbian. Yes, it. Yeah, what, whatever you need to do, mate. Okay, whatever you need to do. Uh, um, that, but that's how messed up these kids must be. I, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a good uh, uh, Same as Asia Road title when she began with trouble. Yes, it works. There's a political account campaign so a British politician and a tech guru, Roger Apkwalan by O'Neill Bernard, uh, seen during location filming for new episodes. Uh, and which calls him a char character Howard Saxon and uh, the most well then now you're on to season three. This is not replacing his template. This is what what you just you just you just disproved your own argument. Why would you do that? That that's I mean that annoys me because it's so dumb. What like why why would you do that? That's the dumbest thing ever. I'm gonna make a stupid argument, and now I'm gonna argue against it. Well, why? I don't know. Well, what's this uh, from Epoch Times? It says government has full access to private Twitter DMs. Yep, I heard about that, man. Doctor, but listen, I, I, I think we knew this, didn't we? The, the get, uh, uh, it's interesting, right? It's um, uh, there's a large sects of Judaism called Haredim, right, who, who don't have, who they don't have smartphones. They are opposed to smartphones, right, because uh, they say that, basically they say they're pocket-sized porn devices, and they're not entirely wrong. <laughs> but anyway, they don't have smartphones, they, they issue social media, right? Um, but the rabbis, yeah, the, uh, 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 which basically, in my opinion, keep them in poverty. To uh, uh, keep them more, more valuable, controllable, right? If they knew how much social media could control people and monitor people, they would insist everybody has a cell phone, right? A hundred percent. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that's better. Where are we up to? Uh, bleeding kids. Uh, oh, this is this David is sticking to the format he put it perfected. Oh no, you mean again? That perfect popular template. That that success. Ah, no, it's successful. That's just proving my worldview. Uh, um, during his 2005 uh, to 10 run, Doctor Who, a format which uh, started as, uh, uh, started to feel tied at the time. Thankfully, the chemistry between uh, Catherine Tate and David Tennant during season four lifted the fight. Oh, will you fuck off? I'm sorry, we've just lived through like the super shit uh, uh, Jody is, right? I, it, it's the time when people were asked, would you like to watch an episode of Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who or would you like me to shove my fist up your ass? Fist up your ass or an episode of Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who? Are, are we talking, you know, uh, uh, all from 55? Yes, we are talking all for Okay, give me the fist, baby. Oh, you don't have to use a small Filipino boy either. You know, you can you you can use a big you can use a big brick laying lad. <laughs> I'll take it. Anything, but anything other than all than fifty five. Oh God, the it was like ah, oh, oh, oh. one of the worst moments in Doctor Who of all time. Oh God, oh. so bad. Fine. Uh, <sighs> He could rip planets so he can save them. Oh, fuck off, Jody. Oh, God. Title cunt. Oh, oh, and I say that because I love you. Uh, um. <laughs> what are we up to? Uh, uh, we were, uh, uh, thankfully, it can't be about Catherine Tate. Uh, um, lifted it. It's highly likely in shooting out where Millie Gibson will 
achieve something similar in their first series. However, it doesn't change the fact it will be incredibly disappointing with the narrative time limiting the bold new era. Oh, will you fuck off? I think RTD knows what he's fucking doing. Like, he might be going too gay for most of us, but will you, will you fuck off? Oh, man. Okay, I want you to take you out to dinner. Well, you know where I want to take you? I want to take you to a Chinese restaurant I like. You know what that Chinese restaurant is called? Some Dumb Cunt. That's what it's called. Some Dumb Cunt. Uh, 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 that's what you want, mate. <laughs> uh, you want stuff like that? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now I'm in the mood for Chinese. Uh, bold new era. Too busy for a 20 year old for that. But you, you tell him, Mark Donaldson. Yes. Uh, more trannies. More drag. Uh, Rossi Davis stops. It was hugely successful. But in those early days, it hadn't expanded uh, uh, all that far from the UK. The first series was a co-production with the uh, Canadian Broadcasting and blah, blah, blah. Uh, with a Chris Echo and in Canada shortly after it in the UK. It was the first North American broadcaster to be uh, to get the behind, uh, get behind the revival. Okay, what what are you going on about? This means that Rusty Davis' occasional uh, parochial vision of Doctor Who needs to evolve alongside his. Yeah, we know. Oh fuck, fuck's sake! How old are you? Okay, not How old are you, mate? Because I, I bet I bet you look like you're twelve. Oops. Dude, yeah, look, look, look at you. Come on, mate. Uh, no, yeah, no, no. You, you're a little boy. <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't know anything. Uh, he's currently working on a book about multiplex cinemas and a doctor about Doctor Who fandom in the nineties. Why? You, you interested in the times before you lived? Uh, um. Uh, so fine, let's keep going back to this idiot story. <laughs> Man, I mean, literally, the guy's 12. Oh, uh, what are we up to? Uh, the, the, the... <sighs> this guy goes on forever. Fine, I think. Oh, man. Two thousand nine wouldn't work today. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, we know. Twenty twenty three. It's awful. When Rusty David brought back Doctor in two thousand five, it was aimed at a family audience, featuring burping bins, farting aliens, and the sporting characters getting converted uh, covered in goo by exploding aliens. Uh, that's still gonna work, mate. Okay, that that that's still happening. Right, that is still gonna be happening. Okay, that's Doctor Who. Oh, I'll meet you in some Dunk Cup, mate. Uh, 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 here's the address. He goes around looking for the. Do, do you know where some Don Cunt is? He says, Yes, you just look in the mirror. Uh, uh, it was a show that was uh, of its time and place, uh, namely Saturday Night on British television. Nearly 20 years later, the audience habits have shifted considerably. Younger viewers will uh, consume uh, much more through media of YouTube and TikTok. Well, in the UK, at least, appointment TV tends to be uh, gripping adult-focused drums like Line of Duty or Happy Valley. I think they're aiming for both, frankly, right? I think they're aiming for both. And I, yeah, okay, I, again, I, I can't believe this, like, 12-year-old is like, and, you know, uh, and, and, and also, also, people people don't watch just one channel anymore. Sometimes they change it and go, they watch another one as well. Yeah, we know, we know. I just gotta, I gotta be sure because you know I, I'm 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 twenty I'm I'm twenty two uh, nearly uh, in five years. Uh, uh, another big thing that happened in the years since Doctor Who returned is that science fiction fan has become hugely successful genres on TV networks. Oh really? Who knew? Uh, movie theaters and streaming zone, blah blah. This means that the audiences are more savvy about science fiction than they were. Oh, God, for fuck's sake. Rusty Davis, for why would listen? It might be Tranny Central, but he's not, at least he got his finger on the zygest of what's going on in, in society. Sort of, hopefully. I mean, like, I mean, normally he does. 
Like his stuff's always been very contemporary. I mean, I loved again, end of the world, toxic, right? Wasn't that but wasn't that awesome? Right? Because it was just so modern, right? Which is what Doctor Who should be, in my opinion. And I think it will be, right? I do think it will be. Uh 2005 from Battle 2023, therefore, uh be seen as a regressive of the derivative. It's your, you check okay. You're mad because there is not a, like a lesbian nun. Oh, help! God help us! Uh, um, pushing the uh, the sci-fi genre in new and interesting directions. However, modernizing Russell e. Davis' 2005 format could help Doctor Who stand apart from the big franchises in some key ways. Oh God, mate, mate! You know what? Somebody should get you. Uh, uh, a voice recorder. You know why? You could record, talk into it and you could hear your favourite thing in the world, your own fucking voice. Oh, lovely David Doctor in format can still put the, the, the show in a new direction. Okay, so again, we're going to have like cocksucking midgets and TARDIS. What, what, what's your plan, mate? Um, <laughs> and Razzio, well, of course we're having cocksucking midgets and TARDIS. Why wouldn't you? How glorious! <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you bigger than? Well, I just don't think cops sucking midgets in the car just sounds very Doctor Who. No, I'm a big trendy. Russell, don't say that. <laughs> uh, okay, no siren as yet, so I think we're good. I, I will, yeah, we'll find out in about 12 minutes. Then it's at the hour. Um, where, where am I at? The main thing that I'm sure Russell Davis secondary will stand apart from the first is considerably high production values brought about by a blah blah blah. Yeah, it's gonna look purdy, right? Yeah, everybody says, yeah, okay, fine. Reports are uh, impossible to die. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. Similarly, the combination of fantastic and every day has been key to Doctor Who's most successful things. Uh yeti on two things back, blah blah blah. That approach we influence. Like, yeah, we know. Oh, okay, fine, here we go. More overt political commentary in his recent work suggests that while format may largely remain the same, his allegorical uh, uh, storytelling could be more explicit. The casting of RuPaul Drags Race winner Jinx Monsoon at the time when drag is under attack. Again, no one minded about drag at all before you had to involve minors in it. Why? To, uh, again, I wouldn't be happy if you wanted to involve minors in a burlesque show either, right? It, it's it's indecent. You know, no, no, it's that you have. Yeah, you're too young. You minors are. This is not for. This is not for children. This is a sexualized art form, right? Again, burlesque is is a reasonable uh, 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 allegory, but I. I but no, I think if you want to turn in like cultural indentation, people know about it. Porn stars, right? Porn stars is, is about this is, is about the same because people know porn stars as much as they know drag queens, right? Uh, uh, I would say, and again, that's without doing any. And do people know porn stars more or less? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, anyway, I digress. Uh, um. Yeah, yeah, so uh, Andrew Attack of the Clearly is interested in burying uh, political analogy under science fiction tropes. Well, that's what we're all worried about, right? Again, again, why does it have to involve children? It's a real simple question, right? Why, I, again, this is not my values, right? I don't think it's kind. I, 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 th I don't think it's uh, brave. I think it's... Uh, Weird. I think it's like paedophilia you know, adjacent, right? It's like it doesn't seem there's many stops between that and touching kids, right? So I don't know. Well, what, what I mean, what, what putting makeup on them and heels? Yeah, that seems weird to me, mate. I'm not up for that, right? I don't think it's okay, right? I wish Rossi Day would tell me he didn't think it's okay because I don't think it is okay, right? I think that's uh, child se sexual exploitation. Uh, uh, so and again, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, hopefully, that's not, that's not the case. Where I'm at, I was like, all oh, these alerts going on, fine. I have no idea what that is, fine. Uh, um, 
Uh, in reality, Russell Davis format is nothing new. Doctor Who has always largely swung from uh, modern day to past to future. Okay. This guy is such a moron. Oh. 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 As an arts graduate from a former theater employee, he is fascinated. Oh, fuck me. He's an unemployed loser. Leave me alone. This is his job. Oh. Oh, that was just painful. My name's Ela Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.